What's going on everybody? Grim Repair here. Today we're working on a Delta 88 again. We're having an intermittent um, loss of spark. We've replaced the crank position sensor. I got a video on that. If you need to do that, go ahead and check that out. And today we're going to be doing the ignition control module. I found when you wiggle this plug around, it, it'll start back up and it is kind of moving down there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of moving. So I don't know if there's a problem inside this ignition control module. Pretty common that they go out on the uh, distributor General Motors cars. So uh, kind of going off a hunch because it's an intermittent issue. But we're going to go ahead and change that. We got a Delphi control, an ignition control module here. You want to get a, a decent one. So Delphi or AC Delco. These don't seem to last very long when you cheap out on them. I got a link down below if you want to get one of those. First thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery with an 8 millimeter. We're going to pull the ground. And we're going to go ahead and number all of these so we don't have to mess around with where they go. And I don't know if this is uh, cylinder number one or not, but I'm just going to number them so they can match and we'll know where they go. Now we're going to take a seven millimeter and there's a bolt going through to hold this plug in. I'm going to loosen that up. And it just pulls out. And I've inspected this plug and everything seems to be fine. That's why I don't think it's the plug. And I'm going to show you this on the new part because it's easy to see. But there are three nuts that hold this down to the um, engine here. And they're 11 millimeters underneath there. Um, an 11 millimeter ratcheting flex head would probably work best. But I didn't bring it, so I'm going to be using... Just a socket with a flex head ratchet. Just get them loose and you can kind of pull them off with your hand. We might even be able to leave these hooked up. So there's six screws holding the coils to the ignition control module, and it's a T25. I'm just going to remove all six and pay attention to where the wires hook up from the ignition control module to the coil. I'm going to use my phone to take a picture of where the wires go. I got a, a fluke uh, ignition control module, but I don't have any threads in here. So what I'm doing is just drilling the old screw back in there, keeping it flat, trying to do it as straight as I can. And cutting my own threads. <laughs> While we were trying to plug this in, one of these old tangs broke off, so I ended up having to buy another one of these coil packs. Again, we're running quality parts as an AC Delco. Uh, there's the part number there, D552. And each cylinder is numbered. That's right here. This is 351426. And the old one's numbered also, so you want to make sure you got you're putting it on the same way that it came off. I'm going to take this gasket and stick it on the new coil pack. And I took a picture before I took it off, so I put it back on the same way. And cylinder number three is going to be at the top. So it's going to go like this. And we're going to have to bend these tangs over after we get it plugged in. Now we're going to bend them in so there's room for it to mount. And 
go ahead and mount it up outside of the car. Gonna get them all started before we tighten them all the way down. underneath the back side all right now that that's mounted on we're gonna go ahead and switch over all the spark plug wires and we're gonna plug it back in tighten that bolt up with the seven millimeter the battery back up and that's it high five we did it